Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Box and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're taking a look at the Microsoft PC Manager beta software, which potentially could save you a lot of hassle, clean your PC, and also clear up some room. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we take a look at the Microsoft PC Manager. Now, this is a tool which kind of incorporates lots of other features which are actually built into Windows anyway, but puts into one actually quite easy to access application and will give you features such as being able to really easily change your default browser. I know some of you are going to be interested in that. It also gives you a good way of managing your files, making sure you've got plenty of room and also removing any potential nasties that might be on your system. So let's take a look at it and see how it works. So on your computer, head over to the link in the top here. I'll put a link for this in the video description so you can check out it for yourself. So it's pcmanager-en-microsoft.com. Obviously, depending where you are, that may change for the en part. And all you want to do is to click on download, save it to your desktop or somewhere it's easy to access. It's a very small file. If we look at it here, check out the properties. Yep, yeah, it's a, a couple of megabytes, so it's not going to have a great deal of impact on your system, which is the whole idea. So we're going to install it now, double click. You'll get the user account control notification come up, just agree that. And you have to accept the end user license and privacy agreements, click on install. It will download any other necessary items. And there you go. So you have the option to either launch now or you can use the shortcut and it will also end up in your taskbar down here eventually. So let's click on launch now. So this is the interface. It's not the uh, the most glamorous of things, but it certainly gets the job done. So in the top, you've got the close icon. If you click on close, it actually still stays running, I believe. Yep, there we go. So you can just click on it to open it up. So it does stay running in the background. It gives you all the kind of key metrics there. And there is a settings tab. So if you don't want it to start up, when you turn on your PC, you can disable that or enable it and you can choose all to update. I would suggest leaving that on and we'll check for updates now. Now when it updates, it actually updates some of the virus definitions and things like that as well. And you can see there virus definition, Microsoft Defender and the version that it's currently using. So we can close that down. So just a quick tour of this. So memory usage, 23%. You've got your temporary files, 2.8 gigabytes. You've got your health check, storage management, process management and startup apps. So this is in the cleanup section. You've also got a security tab as well. So you can quickly and easily scan for threats. So let's click on scan. It'll go through, check all the things, key system locations, startup apps, which may be causing problems, any unwanted browser extensions, frequently used apps, background services, hardware drivers, and miscellaneous items, which may be causing issues with your PC. When it's finished scanning, it'll come up with a list. And there we go, I'm happy to say there were no threats found. And as you can see, we've got all green down here. So that's excellent, so we can click on done. You've also got browser management. This is the one which is gonna be interesting to some people. So if you do want to uh, change your default browser, you can choose either Microsoft Edge if it's installed, Chrome or any others which you may have. So if you want to quickly change, you can do that. So now our default browser is gonna be Microsoft Edge. Click on change. This is probably worth it on its own just to make Google Chrome your default. So click on confirm and that is that done. So that is pretty much it for that section. You've also got Windows updates. So you can look for Windows updates, etc. So if Windows update isn't working by itself, you can click on here and potentially it will help out. So let's go into cleanup and check out what's available here. So the first thing you've got is the boost. So this is the quick and easy one. This will essentially get rid of temporary files and close down unwanted programs. So click on boost and there we go. It's cleaned 2.8 gigabytes of temporary files, which were in use, and you can see our memory usage has dropped down already. So again, this could be quite handy for you. So let's take a look at the other tabs. So we've got health check. So again, you can go through and it'll check, see if there's anything that needs doing. You've got options here for cleaning the recent file list, which could be quite useful. And also you can choose in this section, startup apps to disable. So say for instance, you don't want Microsoft OneDrive running on your system because it is actually a high dependency. You can click on that there and it will stop it running. Again, anything else in here which you don't want running, you can do. Obviously, do be careful. Some things do need to run and certain things for security, like Windows security notifications, you probably do want that running. But again, if you've got anything on here which is unknown, then you can get rid of that. 
So I'll just uh, click on proceed there. And there we go, that's got rid of our recently opened file lists. Next one up is gonna be the storage management. So you can do a deep cleanup. So it'll do a full cleanup scan. I won't do that for the sake of this video being too long as it is. Uh, manage large files. This could be quite useful for some people. So you can see if there's certain files of certain types. So if you've got like compressed folders or something which are over a gig and you don't want them, you can do that and click in File Explorer and it will show you your files. So basically a search tool, but possibly better than the one that's built into Explorer. So that for some people could be quite useful. Also, we've got Manage Apps. So this is basically going to take you into the kind of add remove program section so you can remove any unwanted apps basically it's just a shortcut and same for storage sense so you can do that in there to configure basically managing your storage so other options we've got here so that was storage management we've got process management so you can click on that and it'll show you what is running and you can also quickly close down any applications which you don't want running so you can end tasks and also you've got startup apps again. This is basically the same sort of thing again. So if you want a quick access to that, there is a little bit of repetition in here. Hopefully they will kind of mitigate that a little bit as the beta versions improve and increase. And possibly when it becomes a full fledged Microsoft product, more than likely it will be available in the Microsoft store rather than being on a dedicated web page. I think overall this is actually a pretty decent idea. Again, the health check thing, looking for issues especially for diagnostic purposes, just to see what is going on. And again, being able to easily disable things like OneDrive or to remove programs, all that kind of stuff. And basically switching browser is gonna make things a lot easier. So there we go, there is Microsoft PC Manager. Hopefully it's going to evolve into a, uh, a really useful product. At the moment, actually, like I said, it's pretty useful again for disabling OneDrive and for just switching your browser defaults, a much, much easier way of doing it and it has a very small footprint on the system. So let me know what you think about this one in the comments section below, but I think that's gonna wrap this video up. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.